We live in a world that increasingly expects connections, both to one another and to information. That kind of expectation came up through the passengers to the airlines, and the airlines did a pretty good job of anticipating that, came and talked to Boeing and said, hey, how are we going to provide this kind of connectivity to our customers, to the flying public? To improve the flying experience for commercial passengers, the trick would be connecting expectations with state-of-the-art equipment and cutting-edge science. So the challenge for us at Boeing is providing connectivity at 35,000 feet going 500 miles an hour. That challenge was not easy. The work began in this Boeing laboratory in Seattle. So we've taken some of the techniques that were developed here in the metrology lab for precision calibrations, and we've been able to employ those for aircraft measurements. Initially, confirming that the lab method could apply to a large airplane would require time, advanced statistical work, and sacks of potatoes. We could actually use potatoes, and we verified that, that idea in the lab here. The vegetables' interactions with radio wave signals mimic those of the human body, the perfect stand-in for people who would otherwise have had to sit motionless for days on end while data was gathered. The name of the project was SPUD, Synthetic Personnel Using Dielectric Substitution. With state-of-the-art equipment, statistical calculations pushing the envelope of signal testing, and an ancient food staple, the testing was validated, and a proprietary process replaced testing that had once taken two weeks to complete. It could now be done in hours. The door was open to data with an astonishing level of fidelity. Behind me is a 12 foot or 12 inch by 12 inch square grid of data that we've collected. And as you can see, the hot spots and cold spots. The so-called hot and cold spots are actually strong and weak areas of a Wi-Fi signal that is similar to what you might use at home or work. You want your laptop to work uh, anywhere it's located on your seat rest. So as you can see from this, there'd be significant signal changes just due to the locations of the laptop. The new method bolsters both passenger connectivity and safe interaction with the critical communication and navigation systems on the airplane. From an area like this seat right here, somebody fires up a laptop, and there are systems all located throughout the airplane on the interior that are just right inside of these ceiling panels or inside of these side panels here. There's wiring that runs along here to sensitive equipment. From a safety standpoint, you want to know what the peak signals are. What is the most the strongest signal that one of our uh, communications and navigation systems might see from a laptop or, or 150 laptops or 300 laptops. Next, the data is used to determine the optimum configuration for the passenger connectivity system. So inside the aircraft, it's a very complex electromagnetic environment, and some, some seats might have very strong signal, and some seats might have very, very weak signal. But as things move around and people move, and uh, the galley carts are pushed up and up and down the aisle, then uh, those signal levels can change. The systems engineers who are installing the system want to know what's the weakest signal we're going to see on the airplane. What, you know, am I going to have enough signal at the back of the airplane or up in the front in the cockpit for these systems to operate as designed? The older testing method could not accurately account for strong and weak spots in a Wi-Fi signal, particularly in an ever-changing cabin environment these systems will be tolerant to that change in the electromagnetic environment and provide continuous, uninterrupted service to our passengers. A connection forged in Boeing laboratories can now be experienced in the palm of your hand.